With Workspace ONE, to manage devices, you usually use Workspace ONE UEM profiles, and these include settings for just about everything you can think of. In this video, we'll see how easy it is to create a profile. We'll do one for iOS and one for Windows, but you can create profiles for all sorts of other devices too. Starting in the Workspace ONE UEM console, click Resources, Profiles and Baselines, Profiles. Click Add, Add Profile. Or you could also go up here to the menu bar and click Add, Profile. Select Apple iOS, Device Profile, and for the name we'll just use iOS Passcode Profile. In the Smart Groups, we'll assign it to All Devices. Next, we'll add a payload. The items in this list are called the payloads. Best practice is to add just one payload to each profile after entering the general settings. One exception to that is the SSO profiles we show you how to create in another video. But for most situations, you can use one payload. Click Passcode and Configure. We'll require a passcode on the device and then the rest of the settings appear. For the minimum passcode length, I'll just say four for this exercise, but you can select the number you want. See all the options you have for passcodes? Use the tooltips to find out more. Now click Save and Publish. For the View Device Assignment, it says no records found because I haven't enrolled any devices yet. Click Publish. And here we see our new profile added to the page. Now let's do a profile for Windows. Go to Resources, Profiles and Baselines, Profiles. Click Add, Add Profile again. And then Windows, Windows Desktop. We'll make a device profile. Name it Windows Password Profile. And the deployment setting says Managed. We want to use Managed for this evaluation because there are so many more management features you can use if the device is fully managed. For assignment type, we'll leave it set to Auto. Managed by says ACME, which is the customer level organization group. Click in Smart Groups and select All Devices again. Let's see what the other settings are. Okay, click Password, Configure. Let's see what these defaults are. So these labels mean that in order to enforce the setting, the device must have the Intelligent Hub installed and for this setting, the OS must be Windows 10 or higher. For our purposes, these defaults are good. Click Save and Publish, and click Publish. And here's our Windows password profile. You can now use these profiles together with compliance policies, which we'll create in the next video. Profiles and compliance policies work together to enforce crucial security rules and procedures. Let's take a quick look at how you can tell these profiles are installed on an enrolled device. Here's my iPhone. In the Intelligent Hub app, tap Support, tap the arrow in My Devices, scroll down the device details until you see Profiles, tap the arrow, and you see that the SSO profile and the passcode profile are installed. Now on Windows, it's the same thing. In the Intelligent Hub app, click Support, Click the device name, scroll down to the profile section, and you see the Windows password profile and the Windows user cert, which is also used for SSO. For more Workspace ONE technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.com.